Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk to you guys about seed starting. I live in Houston, Texas, zone 9A, and now it's time to start seeds. So I just started this garden nursery, but before that I was a home grower with a newly landscaped yard and um, I had lots of space to fill. So I decided to start growing things from seed, which kind of led me down this whole journey um, to begin with. So I wanted to share a my experiences and all the lessons that I've learned from that and give you guys a little advice. So the first thing I suggest you do is get LED lights. Now I have shop lights, which are cheaper than the, um, the grow lights, um, but I decided to use it um, because they're four feet long and they fit perfectly on a large shelving unit like this. Uh, I did uh, three shelves for just my home gardening and that was way more than enough light space for me. Um, but I would suggest whatever is your, your, your size or dimension, you definitely need to get grow lights. Uh, I tried using the windows the first year I did it and I would move from one section of the house to the other section trying to get as much light to those seedlings as possible and they all died. So that's my first advice, get some LED shop lights. After you have your lights and your setup, you need to think about what you wanna grow your seeds in. I would suggest growing your seeds in a 10 by 20 tray. It looks like this. Um, it's a standardized size. So most of your pots, cells, um, domes, and um, trays will all fit in this 10 by 20 tray. Now, if you do decide to use these cells and plant directly in them with your seeds, you will be either wasting seeds or the seeds won't germinate and you'll have empty cells for weeks at a time. And um, that can cause bugs uh, just because the, the cell will never fully dry out. So um, you might actually end up with gnats. But um, that's why I suggest small starting them in um, bulk and then up potting ones because you already know that they have, um, you will end up with a plant in those cells. Now, if you do decide to use the smaller containers, uh, I suggest putting plastic wrap or something over the top to make sure they stay nice and moist. Um, you can, um, as they start to pop up, cause they'll germinate at, at different days. Sometimes they'll take a little longer. So you wanna make sure you keep them wrapped, but still keep some airflow and um, keep that top layer of soil moist. Now, I decided to use domes for some of these things because they're such small seeds. I wanted to um, be able to just let to set them in there and leave them that way. Um, and some plants don't want the roots disturbed. So I went ahead and just decided to keep them domed up and they will go directly outside after this. If you do decide to do mass plantings and you decide you want to a pot and I'm going to use these. Uh, this is a 50 cell tray so all of those seeds should fit in this and I'm going to continue to keep them underneath the grow lights in my house um, until they're a little bit bigger and um, the weather permits them to be able to move those outside. That's what I suggest starting small and gradually moving up in size that way you're not wasting space underneath your grow lights and you're not having empty cells. The next thing I would suggest you guys do is look into making your own potting mix. Uh, you can buy the small starter pack of um, seed starting mix from the store. Uh, it's not a very cost effective way to, to plant seeds in bulk, um, but if you're only planting one or two trays, then that's perfectly fine. But if you are planting a large quantity, I would definitely look into um, buying the bulk ingredients and creating your own mix. So there are a couple of items I would really encourage you guys to get. Although they're not necessary, they do help quite a bit. So the first thing I would suggest you guys get is a smart surge protector. Uh, I have six of my lights on one switch and they're, they are controlled by my phone. And this has been so helpful um, with remembering to turn on and off the lights because I always forgot. So that's one of the things I would say is, is um, not needed, but it definitely helps. The second thing I would suggest you guys get are these little uh, yellow gnat um, sticky pads. Um, they 
even if you don't think you will have an issue with gnats, they definitely will be there. If you have moist soil in your house, uh, you will have them and you will not see them until it becomes an issue. I had some plants that I had and I didn't um, realize that I had the gnats until it was too late and it took all of my seeds. So I would suggest going ahead and buying that and it, I've got these two up here for the last year. I mean, they look kind of gross right now, but um, they're catching gnats that I don't even see. So definitely would suggest that. So those are a few of the things I suggest you guys look into if you're um, planning on starting your own seeds. I will continue to share all of my experiences and knowledge with you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.